Hi, Kelly Palayo here, and today we're going to talk about a investment term called the capitalization rate or cap rate. And what I want to do today is tell you what a cap rate is, why it's useful, and then how you use it to help you in your investment, your investing process. So first, what is a capitalization rate? So write this down. You might want to get out a pad of paper because this is going to be a complicated one today. A capitalization rate is a rule of thumb that allows you to measure the value of an investment property, either on the price that a person is asking for it and or the price you're thinking about offering for it. Okay. So it's called the capitalization rate, and the assumption is you would be paying cash for the property, even though most people don't pay cash. In order for it to work, you have to assume that it's a cash sale. Write that down. So capitalization rate takes all of the fixed costs and potential costs to come up with something called a net operating income. And then that's what cash you have left over after all of the operating expenses of the property. So a capitalization rate allows you to be able to take that cash flow and then determine what your return on investment would be if you paid cash for a property. And why is this useful? Well, it's a rule of thumb right? Just a rule of thumb so that if a property is for sale for a million dollars and they have a hundred thousand dollars and not net operating income, then a million dollars divided into a hundred thousand dollars gives you a 10% capitalization rate. Likewise, under the same million dollars, if we had $80,000 in net revenue, then you would have an 8% capitalization rate. So it's just a useful way to very quickly come up with an analysis of an investment property based on its cash flow after all of the expenses. Now, how do you determine a capitalization rate? First, you have to come up with the gross annual income. The gross annual income from all sources. And then what you do is you deduct all of the fixed and projected expenses, except, again, I'm going to underline, except your cost of the mortgage. These expenses include property taxes, insurance, utilities, property management, trash removal, pest control, cleaning the common areas if you have common areas, utilities, electricity, water, everything that you can come up with that are fixed known expenses as well, you want to put into the equation uh, an expense for vacancy. And in my opinion, the minimum expense you want to put in for vacancy is 5% in general. And you may know that if you're looking at a certain market, it's, it's higher. But when you think about it, when a rental unit turns over, an office turns over, it's going to be vacant for a bit, even if you turn it quickly. So you want to work in a vacancy factor, you want to work in a um, repair amount if there aren't any repairs in the books. And then finally, I think you want to work in a reserve number. Okay, so let's say that we had a building that had gross annual revenue of $100,000. And using the rule of thumb that I used earlier on a gross um, or check that on the percentage you should use for expenses on a building, 
let's use 40% expenses. So if we have $100,000 in income, gross income, and we have 40% expenses, that would leave us with a net operating income or NOI of $60,000, all right? If you're analyzing a property and, and it's listed at, or you're thinking about paying a million dollars for it, and you have $60,000 in annual net income, then what you do is you divide the $60,000 by the price. Write that down. Divide the net operating income by the price. In our example, if somebody's asking a million dollars for a property and it has $60,000 in net operating income, then you divide that into the $60,000 and you come up with a capitalization rate of 6%. If we take that same $60,000 and someone is selling a property for a million five hundred thousand dollars you divide a million five hundred thousand dollars into the sixty thousand dollars and you come up with a capitalization rate of four percent so a good way to compare two different prices in a, uh, with this rule of thumb right obviously the higher the cap rate the better it is for the buyer and the lower the cap rate the worse it is for the buyer. In our example, 6% is better and 4% is lower, so that's worse, you're paying more. Now, for perfect clarity, in Hawaii, it is unusual to see a capitalization rate above 4%. And investors outside Hawaii have a hard time getting their head around that. But most of the rest of the United States can see capitalization rates at 7%, 8%, 9%, 10%. 10%. As compared to realistically, we see them in Honolulu as 2 or 3%. 4% is doing very well. I actually know an investor that bought something for 4.5% relatively recently, and I was surprised that he got such a good bargain on the property. With the exception of the left and right coasts, west coast and east coasts normally the united states mainly united states capitalization rates are much higher than you'll find in hawaii and that's why sometimes hawaii investors are buying outside of hawaii also when you look at the coasts and just go up the west coast san diego los angeles um san francisco portland seattle your cap rates many times are more in line with Hawaii cap rates than they are with the rest of the United States. Same thing I've heard on the East Coast, so I don't have a lot of experience there. That's what a capitalization rate is. Again, things to remember. You want to know what the gross annual income is, and then you want to deduct all of the expenses from that income with the exception of your mortgage costs, and then you end up with something called the net operating income or NOI. Then whatever the NOI is, to determine the capitalization rate or cap rate, what you do is you divide the NOI by the price you're thinking about paying or the price they're asking. It just gives you that rule of thumb to measure your your investment opportunity. Obviously, this one's a bit more complicated than other factors we've discussed, but if you do have any questions about it or would like further information on it, 